up high in the northern tower on the third floor. I'm going to die. And evil might win again. So let's pray that doesn't happen. Instead slap spiders. Ah, thank goodness this new sword is doing well. The silver sword. It's silver delicious. And gotta make sure I do not get flanked here. Because that could lead towards the famous my doom. The famous scene where it goes wada wada wa. Wada wada wa. Well, it's an improvement. Now let's see if this red elixir actually does slice some of the things up. That wasn't too bad. Not the greatest. But right now you take what you can get. Before they take your life. And possibly all your chocolate pudding. No, you cannot have my chocolate pudding. That's a bad barbarian. You're getting a little desperate, aren't you, Magua? Well, if I don't get desperate, who will? And against better judgment, I'm going to try to get one more item. Here before I leave, I need two of those three items. In that very center room, it's not. It's another ring of flight. They really want you to get ring of flights, don't they? They're probably planning to be something else. But I have a feeling this game was rushed in the first place. For my efforts. My map was wrong. Was that a ring of flight? Yes, it was. My map was wrong. It lied to me. I should learn never to trust maps. And what's that around the corner? Another barbarian. I'll allow me to do some sneaking here. And I might come up with something very valuable. Almost about to get that lovely, lovely one sword. After a little ovation, we're down here. And of course, you know what the problem is. We still haven't met the third and final enemy of this horrible northern tower. The Lich. Or if you prefer, the Lick. Or if you prefer, the Necromancer. While not high on defense, this power is overwhelming. Good thing I saved it this time. But a whole bunch of the monsters already defeated. One quick moment. Sir, sometimes it's just better to evade every single monster you can. How is this not possible? Considering all these narrow stairways. Considering the curse that bes is bestowed upon me. Or I could get really serious with my magic and start getting serious. We all know that's not going to happen.
It seems that I have a court in myself. Courting yourself is never a good idea in this game. Especially when you're being flanked. Because if you're not careful, you might be getting shanked too. And even after that, if this spell hits you, you go kablooey. I also promise you I'll get what I need in this video. Even if it's through cheap tactics. Oh dear, a second one. Why am I calling you my dear? I think most of you will probably be all offended if I called you my dear, or my darling, or Clementine. So don't be lost and gone forever. Don't have that automatic door spell open when you do this. I am cursed. That's why it's troublesome for me to move around. If I can remember this spell to remove curse. There we go. And can we finally get white king or in the next room, where I'm going to be promptly attacked. By yet another evil wizard. Who also casts Dark. He's the only spell he doesn't cast. Finally. What are we looking for? Taz. I mean the uh, Sword of Wind. I mean both. I mean... You get the point. Now there is a way to cure this darkness. But I'm not going to waste my hit points. It really doesn't impair you that much metagame wise, and it doesn't do any stat effects to you in the actual game. So allow me to Metal Gear myself out of here. Is that what I call stealth now? Metal Gear? I could say Assassin's Creed myself out of here, since I came in here, assassinated a few undead. And living. And stole something. The rest of the way is clear. And I shall meet you one moment. Back in the town of Xandor. And hopefully Taz will somehow be magically taken out of the sword in the wind. Let me ask 